Hello. Hi. This is Doug. I'm here with... Jim Kyle. And Jim Kyle is who? Well, I'm a retired uh, software developer, uh, tech writer, and one-time newspaper reporter for the Oklahoma and Times. What's your background, Jim? Well, I, uh, I'm a native Oklahoman, born at Stillwater. Uh, traveled all over with my family while I was growing up because my dad was civil service. Uh, we came back to Oklahoma City in 1946, and I've lived here mostly ever since, except for uh, my time at OU, uh, 21 months in the Army, and a little over two years in Southern California. Um, How'd you wind up at the Oklahoma? Well, I uh, majored in journalism at OU with the intent of becoming a Life magazine photographer. But along the way, I discovered that uh, the editors liked what came out of my typewriter much better than what came out of my camera. So uh, I concentrated on that, um, went through the uh, Campbell Harris professional writing courses at OU, which turned out a number of uh, well-known writers, of which I am not one. And then Korea came along, and uh, I had 21 months in the Army, including uh, over a year uh, in Korea. I was there when they stopped the shooting. I uh, came back. Um, did retail camera sales for a few months, and then got a call from the newspaper down at Ardmore, which is the Daily Ardmoreite. Turns out that they needed a reporter who could also handle a camera, and I eventually discovered I had been recommended by the dean of the OUJ school. So I interviewed with them, and uh, I liked them, they liked me, and I moved to Ardmore. That lasted for about a year, and uh, it was a wonderful year. But I also learned the seamy side of the newspaper business, so found out how often we had to, con uh, to compromise with our consciences. Uh, things that might embarrass an advertiser frequently didn't get reported, and if quote, important people, close quote, uh, would be offended, again, the story would not see the light of day. You I mean, came, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. You came to, from Ardmore to Oklahoma City? That is correct. I'd been there about a year when uh, there was a showdown between uh, my managing editor, uh, who I considered to be my boss, and for that matter, my mentor at that time, and the owner of the paper, and it ended up with uh, the editor getting fired. Uh, our city editor was promoted to the managing editor spot. They offered me the city editor spot, but uh, being young and idealistic, I decided I didn't really want to have anything more to do with them. So I hightailed it up to Oklahoma City and visited the Oklahoman. Uh, as it happened, uh, I'd had uh, contact with them while I was at OU. Uh, I was their campus photography correspondent for all four years. So I knew them and they knew me. And when I told them that Sam Blackburn had been fired at Ardmore, almost the entire city room came out uh, to the table to ask me what had happened. So they found a spot for me as a copy reader on the Times. When was that? Uh, that was uh, the last half, uh, as I recall, it was probably November of 1955. Uh, on the Times, I spent about a year and at that point, uh, they had an opening over on the Oklahoman, which was the morning paper. Um, 
they transferred me over, and I was quite happy to do the transfer. Among other things, I didn't like having to be at work at 6 o'clock every morning, which was uh, the schedule on the Times. And uh, as rewrite man on the morning side, I didn't go to work until 4 in the afternoon. What does rewrite mean, editor mean? Okay, rewrite. Uh, the rewrite man uh, stays very close to the city editor. Uh, my desk was immediately behind his chair. And among other things, he serves as the receptionist for the entire newsroom. All incoming calls are answered by the rewrite man, and he then uh, passes them on over to whoever uh, needs to handle them. But the main job is to take dictation from the field reporters. Uh, mostly it was from the police reporter. He would call in his items as he uh, acquired them and dictate to me over the phone. I would take the dictation on an electric typewriter, type it up, and pass it over to the city editor. And whenever I wasn't busy, uh, the editor had instructed me always bring a book to work and be reading that book if you're not really busy. I want to be able to turn around and see whether you're available for assignment or not. I read an awful lot of books during that time. <laughs>